Last week, Congress went on break. And uh, so, as is the tradition, uh, they all went back to visit their districts to host town hall meetings, you know, where they can connect with the people they've been screwing over. And normally, these meetings are emptier than Floyd Mayweather's bookshelves. But <laughs> when you tell people that a president with ties to Russia is planning to take their health care away, you may as well put your feet on their couch. Do you know how bad you have to be to turn all of your constituents into the shame nun from Game of Thrones? <laughs> you are really not doing your job well. You know what would have been even funnier? Is if it turned out that that senator is a huge fan of Game of Thrones. You know, if he was like, oh, well, I guess I have to get naked now. <laughs> oh. If I was him, I would have been, I would have said like, so you can't afford healthcare, but you can afford HBO, huh? Huh? And the crowd is like, we share a password. <laughs> well, I didn't think of that. I've got to say, though, it's really inspiring to see the people out there engaging in democracy in such an active way. Although, although, some protests seem less effective than others. Another Republican lawmaker faced another angry town hall crowd. This time it was Congressman Leonard Lance in Branchburg, New Jersey. At least 300 other people who couldn't get into the town hall demonstrated outside. Someone even brought a pair of llamas carrying their own political message. Okay, okay, no. No. No, the llamas were not carrying their own political message. <laughs> They're carrying the political message of someone who owns llamas. Llamas can't go to Staples and buy poster board. That's not what they do. It's not like they're out there with their own signs that say, like, don't shave me, bro. <laughs> That's not what they're doing. And if you think llamas showing up to a town hall is insane, Trump's America is the only place you'll see a seven-year-old showing up with talking points. Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton getting an earful Wednesday night. At one point, even confronted by a seven-year-old boy. Donald Trump makes Mexicans N not important to people who are in Arkansas who like Mexicans, like me, my grandma. And he's deleting all the parts in PBS Kids just to make a wall. <laughs> he shouldn't do that. Oh, You know you f***ed up when even the little kids are coming hard at you. <laughs> I bet you Senator Cotton probably thought he was getting a softball. Okay, tough room, tough room. Let, let's see what that kid over there wants to say. <laughs> hey, what do you want to know about, little boy? My favorite candy? And the kid was like, let's talk about the emoluments clause. <laughs> <laughs> now, some people might say, why the hell is a kid participating? He's not even old enough to vote. Let me tell you something. When you have a president who thinks global warming is a hoax, he doesn't know if he'll ever get a chance to vote in the future. So that kid is like, I'm gonna do my <laughs> now. I'm getting in now. <laughs> I'm getting involved now. Now, some congressmen have noticed the uncomfortable positions that their colleagues are getting into. And so, instead of facing the heat, they've decided to get out of the kitchen. Some lawmakers defending their absence, citing concerns for their safety. Congressman Louis Galmert telling his constituents in a letter, the House Sergeant of Arms advised us after former Congressman Gabby Giffords was shot at a public appearance that civilian attendees at congressional public events stand the most chance of being harmed or killed just as happened there. Okay. Well, you know what? I mean, in his defense, this Texas congressman is afraid of someone getting shot at his town hall. And I understand, you know? I mean, it's, it's not like politicians can create laws to restrict where people can carry guns. I mean, that's... <laughs> that's impossible, you know? Uh, and, and to be fair to him, as a, you know, former Arizona congresswoman Gabby Giffords, she was shot when she was meeting with her constituents. So if anyone would understand Congressman Gomert's position, it would be her. Giffords responded today saying, I was shot on a Saturday morning. By Monday morning, my offices were open to the public. To the politicians who have abandoned their civic obligations, I say this, have some courage, face your constituents, hold town halls. God damn! <laughs> Shots fired! Wow, 
Wow. Gomer tried to use Giffords as an excuse, and she clapped back hard. In fact, in fact, if you listen carefully, you can hear the wind whispering, you little bitch. <laughs> now, if you were a Republican in power, uh, you would have to see all of this passion about losing health care and other issues deeply important to your constituents, and you'd have to think, man, I better respond to this constructively. Or you could just say the whole thing was fake. Republican Congressman Jason Chaffetz accused the protesters of being paid and shipped in from out of state. I thought it was a bit over the top. I thought it was in, intended to bully and intimidate. Most of these protests, as we've checked into it, are very well organized and financed. These protesters are actually being bussed in from out of state. They've turned protesting into what seems like a full-time profession. There is a bit of, of professional protester manufactured base in there. Damn. <laughs> I never thought of that. <laughs> yeah, it all makes sense. The Democrats paid tons of people to go disrupt town halls across the country. Now, I wish I could have been in the meeting when they were planning it. All right, guys, here's the plan. <laughs> we're gonna pay thousands of people to come out and support us. Is that for the election? No, no, that would be too easy. <laughs> First, we're gonna lose. <laughs> then, we're gonna complain, yeah! Hey there, it's The Daily Show's Trevor Noah. We have our own YouTube channel now, so uh, please do subscribe. Uh, I'll, I'll wait so you can... I won't even look, just because I know that's weird. It's sort of like when a dog's doing its thing. You can just... Yeah, just subscribe. I won't, I won't look.